Your person misses you deeply, so much that it physically hurts. This feeling of longing and desire has become a part of them, and you might be feeling it too. The energy of this connection hits them particularly hard, especially in those early moments when they are waking up from sleep. It's as if you are the first thing that comes to mind before they are fully conscious, and the intensity of that thought overwhelms them. The longing is powerful, raw, and at times difficult for them to handle. It's frustrating for them to want you so deeply, knowing that no matter how much they crave your presence, there is no immediate way to satisfy that yearning. This is a special kind of frustration, a longing that goes beyond simple desire and touches the core of their being. Your person feels as though no other relationship in their life has ever been right. It's only with you that things feel complete, as if you are the missing piece they've been searching for. Other connections pale in comparison, lacking the depth, the passion, and the soul-level understanding they have with you. You are the one who gives them the courage to be their authentic self, something they may have struggled with in the past. Before you came into their life, they likely had trouble feeling comfortable in their own skin, perhaps hiding parts of themselves or conforming to expectations. But with you, they are free to be who they truly are, without fear of judgment or rejection. It's only you who has unlocked this part of them, and they know it deeply in their heart. The love and desire your person feels for you is incredibly strong, and it won't fade away or subside. They know this because they are convinced of the twin flame connection you share. This bond is different from any other, they understand that now. The strength of their emotions isn't fleeting or temporary. Instead, it feels eternal, a force of nature that will remain constant no matter what happens. The more they reflect on it, the more certain they become. They have never been so sure of anything in their life as they are about you. It's not just a passing feeling or a fleeting infatuation, it's a deep knowing that they are meant to be with you. Your person is determined to show you just how much they've grown. They've been working on themselves, changing in ways they hope you'll notice. Perhaps they've been dealing with personal struggles, learning life lessons, or simply becoming a better version of themselves. Regardless, they want to prove to you that they are evolving, and that they are becoming the person you deserve. This growth is important to them because they want to be worthy of you, and they want you to see that they are capable of being the partner you need. They are not the same person they were when you first met, they've changed, and they're proud of the progress they've made. In their quiet moments, your person is always planning ahead. Even though they may not say much, they are constantly thinking about the future and imagining what it will be like with you by their side. They've known they were committed to this journey ever since the first time you both had a deep and meaningful conversation. That moment solidified everything for them. They realized then that they were all in, fully dedicated to making this connection work no matter what obstacles might arise. The depth of that conversation, and the connection it brought, confirmed everything for them. It wasn't just idle talk, it was a life-changing realization. Your person sees you as someone who always gets what you want. To them, you seem powerful and confident, able to manifest your desires with ease. This perception might be intimidating at times, but it's also part of what draws them to you. They admire your strength and independence, seeing you as someone who is in control of your own destiny. Even if you don't realize it, this quality makes you incredibly attractive to them. They see you as someone who is always moving forward always achieving, and it inspires them to do the same. Whether you are aware of it or not, you have a profound influence on your person. The way you carry yourself, the things you say, and even the way you look at them all leave a lasting impact. This influence is so strong that they often find themselves studying you, 
trying to understand you better. It's not just a surface level fascination, but a deep need to know everything about you. They watch your actions closely, not in a way that feels intrusive, but out of admiration and curiosity. You captivate them, and they want to understand every layer of who you are. This is why you may often feel like they are watching you or paying close attention to your every move, it's because they are. They're captivated by you and want to learn everything they can. This connection goes beyond what either of you expected. It's not just a simple attraction, it's a bond that changes both of you, pushing you to grow, to learn, and to become the best versions of yourselves. Your person feels this deeply, and they're committed to seeing where this journey will take you both. I have never truly walked away from you, nor have I ever really separated myself from you. What I did was withdraw from the physical world, not to create distance between us, but rather to connect with you in an energetic and spiritual way. I realized that in the physical world, there were limitations that prevented me from fully understanding both you and the profound nature of our connection. By closing myself off physically, I allowed myself to connect with you on a deeper level, in a space where I could comprehend what this connection truly means for both of us. In the energetic realm, things make more sense. The feelings that are difficult to express face to face, the questions I hesitate to ask you directly, all seem to flow effortlessly when I reach out to you telepathically. There is a clarity there that I don't always experience in the physical world. I believe we should be grateful for this opportunity to experience something so rare and beautiful. It's not every day that people can connect on such a soul-deep level, not only in the physical plane but also in what some would call the 5D. It's in this energetic realm that our bond becomes undeniable and unmistakable. The truth of our connection is simple, yet profound, we can never truly be apart. No matter how much physical distance separates us or how much time passes, we are always communicating, always connected. This connection exists at a soul level, a level so deep that nothing in the physical world can ever sever it. Even when we are not physically together, there is an invisible thread that ties us to one another. It's a bond that defies logic, and it's one that I feel deeply in my heart, even during moments of silence. Everything around me reminds me of you. It's as if the universe itself is conspiring to keep you in my thoughts and in my heart. The smallest things bring me back to you, a song, a scent, a memory that seems to surface out of nowhere. Each reminder strengthens the truth that what we have is real, and it runs deeper than I ever imagined. Our love is raw, pure, and incredibly real, and that is something that resonates with me more and more every day. It's something that can't be ignored or forgotten, no matter how hard one might try. Many people come and go in my life, as they do in everyone's, but you are different. You are the one who remains constant in my mind and in my heart. No matter what happens, you are unforgettable to me. It's not just because of the moments we shared in the physical world, but because of the connection that exists beyond that. I find myself constantly thinking of you, feeling your presence even when you're not physically here. It's a sensation that both comforts me and leaves me longing for more at the same time. Looking back, I wish I had been more emotionally available to you. I wish I had been more vulnerable, more open with my feelings. I now realize that, although you have always been my priority in my heart, my actions may have made you feel like you were just an option. That is one of my biggest regrets. You gave me your love unconditionally, without asking for anything in return, and I didn't value it the way I should have. I didn't see the full depth of what you were offering, and for that, I am deeply sorry. Now, in your silence, I find myself longing for everything I once took for granted. 
I miss the conversations, the moments of connection, and the sense of peace I felt when we were together. I am left with the realization that no matter what happens, no matter how much time passes, you will always have a piece of my heart. I understand now that we were never meant to be apart in the ways I feared, because even when we are not physically together, our souls are always intertwined. This connection transcends the physical world. It's something sacred, something that few people are fortunate enough to experience. And while I may not have understood it fully in the past, I see it now for what it truly is, a love that goes beyond time, beyond distance, beyond words. You are, and always will be, a part of me. And for that, I am eternally grateful. The most admirable quality about you is your nurturing and understanding nature. I've always been in awe of how effortlessly you care for others, showing kindness and compassion in ways that go beyond the ordinary. You don't just listen, you truly understand people, and that's what makes you so unique. For me, you have been more than just someone I care about, you've become a woman I admire, love, and respect deeply. You are the kind of person who makes the world feel a little warmer, a little more bearable, just by being in it. However, I find myself feeling insecure lately, and it's not because of anything you've done but rather because things have changed between us. You're not expressing your love and affection toward me like you used to, and I can't help but feel the loss of that connection. I miss it all, the way you used to look at me, the little things you did to make me feel loved, and the warmth that used to flow between us. It was those gestures, those moments of affection, that made me feel secure and valued. Now, without them, I feel a void that I don't know how to fill. It's hard for me to admit, but I need that love and reassurance from you to feel whole. Looking back, I regret my decision to leave and let you go. It's something I think about constantly, and I can't help but feel that it was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. We were one of the best matches, we complemented each other perfectly, didn't we? Our differences weren't flaws, they were what made us work. Where I lacked, you filled in, and where you stumbled, I was there to catch you. Together, we formed a unit that I thought could stand the test of time. But I let my doubts get in the way, allowing insecurities, blame, and ego to cloud my judgment. I began to focus on what I thought was missing rather than appreciating the abundance of love and care that was right in front of me. I let my doubts eat away at the bond we shared, and instead of nurturing it, I allowed it to erode. Blame was my defense mechanism. Whenever I felt uncertain or scared, I projected those feelings onto you. I was afraid to face my own flaws, so I shifted the burden onto you, making you feel responsible for things that were never your fault. And ego, my ego was perhaps the most destructive of all. It stopped me from seeing the truth, from apologizing when I should have, and from acknowledging how much I truly needed you. I didn't want to admit that I was wrong or that I was weak, so I chose to push you away instead of holding you closer. I dreamed of a life where I didn't have to confront my own issues, and in doing so, I lost sight of what was most important, us. I can't believe how blind I was. Instead of appreciating you for the wonderful person you are, I made you sad and cry. You gave me everything, your heart, your time, your energy, and in return, I caused you nothing but pain. That's a weight I carry with me now, knowing that I hurt someone so kind and loving. I feel so embarrassed, so ashamed of the man I became. I let my weaknesses control me, allowing myself to become someone I hardly recognize, someone toxic. I never wanted to be that person, yet here I am, realizing just how much damage I've caused. I know how much you've suffered because of me. I've seen it in your eyes, in the way you've withdrawn, in the silence that now lingers between us. 
and it breaks my heart to know that I'm the reason for your pain. Now, I'm left with nothing but the hope that you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I know I don't deserve it, not after everything I've done, but I'm asking for your forgiveness because I don't know how else to move forward. I can't change the past, but I want to try and be a better man in the future, a man worthy of your love and respect. Please forgive me, my love. I can't undo the hurt I've caused, but I want to make amends and rebuild what I've broken. If you give me the chance, I promise I will do everything in my power to be the partner you deserve.